right, James. Yeah. Right, least anticipated. Least anticipated. <laughs> right, so sort of following on from like the idea that Jurassic Park is being rejuvenated, they're making a you know Star Wars. Like, there's a lot of a lot of sort of rejuvenating of franchises and stuff. Oh, yeah. um, but also another couple of films that are being uh, rejuvenated this year: Paul Blart, Mall Cop Two. <laughs> So you've seen Paul Blart Mall Cop? Yes, I have. Yeah, okay, good, because uh, I'm not alone. We can bond over, like, <laughs> our trauma later. It's terrible, <laughs> yeah. terrible, terrible. I was forced to watch that on an aeroplane, so that's why. <laughs> forced to. And uh, I Hot Tub... I watched it out of choice. Yeah, no, I watched it out of choice. Wrong choice. Bad but, uh, choice. <laughs> bad choice. Yeah, back in the days of Blockbuster. <laughs> uh, and the other is Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Why are they making that? Film? Why are these films being what? made? Why is there no creativity in Hollywood when there's like so <laughs> many good young writers? What, what are creativity? Uh, <laughs> what are the noise about Hot Tub Time no Machine 2? There there's is some creativity. Don't, don't, hot Tub Time Machine 2 is coming out. Fuck Hollywood. They <laughs> spun that yeah, one. No, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> um, my one's the ones... Uh, that I'm sort of anticipating because they're the ones that I'll laugh at the most, I think. And it was Insurgent, which we watched. The <laughs> yeah. That trailer was amazing. <laughs> that, that's all it needs, really. And yeah. uh, and the second Maze Runner, just because apparently sure, it gets yeah. worse from the first <laughs> one, and I want to see one, it get that's worse. That's the thing we were just saying this earlier. The yeah. first one was really good up until the end. Yeah, up until the end, and then yeah. it gets a bit more. Actually, I didn't tell you I watched it. Divergent after. Oh, you watched it? Oh, yeah, it is, it's unwatchable. Really? <laughs> really? Uh, I yeah, thought it's, 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 it's not unwatchable. It's, 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 it's bad. I didn't like it, it is bad. No, it's but, it's bad. It's bad. No, but that insurgent trailer is so funny. funny but the comments are funny. The comments I don't. Sorry, but we'll just do this. The comments on the trailer are just filled with people. Like, not going, in the book, all caps, one, one, like, one, one, one. They're so hyperbolic. It's like people like collapsing on their knees doing and a platoon because <laughs> they've added a box into the film. Uh, so, yeah, essentially at the beginning of the trailer they show like there's this box that they need to unlock. And all yeah. the comments are just like, there is there's no a, box. There is no, what, what is box? Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's like, what the fuck is this box? <laughs> it really kind also, of intense. Also, the trailer gives away like the entire plot. It's like, oh, there's this yeah. box and like... Like, no one can open it. We've got to find the person that they open it. By the end of it, they've shown that, like, the main protagonist is obviously the person that also, can only yeah, open the box. Dis- they fire up to really, it. And- really discernible amount of windows breaking in the trailer. We can't yeah. count them. There's so many, like, there's a big bit where it kind of tries to build this up as one of the dramatic events of the world. It's just, it's just a window breaking. A yeah, random uh, window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's shot. like a bay window. Yeah. Like, of, like, thing is, and they're, like, walking through the grounds. Yeah, the yeah. And they're and going, sh- 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 and, and that's in supposed to be the There's three shots of the same window breaking. Also, uh, she doesn't have sex with him until the third book. Or oh, whatever. she doesn't. And that's, have, yeah, that's, that's that's a massive deal, apparently. But that's, oh, God, that's oh, what amongst her, like the avid fan base? They're like, there's, they, they, there's they, like they, one <laughs> shot. There's not true to the source like, material. <laughs> there's one <laughs> shot of her taking her shirt off, and it's like from behind, so it's just her back. Yeah. And then they're just like, oh no, they do not get this close in the book. Like, where is this character that's also like love triangle or something mm. like that? But I think it, I think it's the problem when you've got one successful film in the genre or like kind of aesthetic. Like you've got. Um, I know one of the films that I didn't mention. Um, the Hunger Games, obviously, you oh, know, rejuvenating the whole... Um, <laughs> yeah, rejuvenating the whole kind of, like, teen dystopia thing. It's you the know, teen With that one, choice. with, yeah. And um, being, like, action-y. And we're not saying they can't do that, but it doesn't no, mean no, that every no. single one's going to be good. Like, you know. I guess, based purely on what we know now, to have Terminator Genesis. Speak wow! Up. wow. <laughs> Just an intense sight. I thought that, I think they Genesis. couldn't get worse than Terminator 3. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Terminator 3 like, was like rock bottom for the Terminator series but <laughs> they've Genesis seems to have breathed new life into the world all I just, yeah, scenes. the bit that really um, got to me was the bit where um, Sarah Connor drives in in that van and says come with me if you want to live it. that was really like forced that was so it was like the office levels of just like <laughs> <laughs> it, it was painful it's like they've literally taken all the all the like lines that have to be said in every Terminator yeah. film and just shoot. I don't know in. why they need oh, to. Yeah, they did, yeah. But, um, like I'll be back. And then like, yeah, a bit where he jumps out of the helicopter is just horror. It's just where horrible. Arnie dive bombs another helicopter. I know, this That's is innovative though. Come on, it's I innovative. <laughs> Who the hell has done that before? <laughs> <laughs> Like, um, and what annoys me most, though, is the fact that they've taken. I like the idea of the timelines, like what they've done with the. Base you mean you like doing? I think Star that's the Trek strongest point. point of the, I don't mind what they've done with that, but at the same time, they've basically taken the villain from Terminator Two, recast him as someone, and then yeah. and then gone. Should we make the CGI more crap? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. It looks worse than <laughs> it did twenty years yeah. ago. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But um, also, I, the general idea of Sarah Connor, Connor. 
growing up with the Terminator. Calling it's the Terminator yeah. Papa. Or yeah, that, what? that actually seems like... like yeah. I, when I was, I okay, was explaining I this, this I was explaining this pot to someone else, and it genuinely does sound like a joke comedy from, like, yeah. another film. Like, another film has, has like, a film within it that supposedly yeah. is... Like, oh, the Terminator's now got to raise a kid. And it's like, oh, what? Son of Terminator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, you made a good deal. What is that comedy where Arnie, what is that comedy? Kindergarten, Kindergarten Cop. Kindergarten Cop, yeah. yeah. My least anticipated for 2015, I have two. Uh, one of them is only on there because of just, it might be, no, nah, it's not really good. Uh, the Point Break remake. Not directed by Catherine Bigelow or anyone even nearly as talented. Not starring Keanu Reeves or anyone nearly as funny. <laughs> and just, why are they doing this? I don't know. Hollywood. I think when Once Upon a Time it had Stop quite... Stop that! <laughs> once Upon a Time it had good people in it. I think Gerard Butler was supposed to be in this once. Mm. Mm. And all of a sudden it's just a load of nobody. Did you see the cast Gerard of Butler Weapon? Weapon? anything recently? No. Uh, you, you know, know about, about the Weapon reboot? No. Oh, they're, they're doing yeah, it with Lethal Weapon. That was the yeah. last thing. No! Yeah. Uh, Hang, on <laughs> Hang on a minute! Hang on a minute! I told them that they're doing it with Lethal Weapon t- as well. <laughs> 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 that yeah. needed a violent reaction! You didn't know. Yeah, they're doing it with Lethal Weapon. It's gonna be. Uh, uh, Riggs, is Riggs is gonna be. Um, no. Uh, thingy, Don't thingy. say it. Chris Hemsworth. No! <laughs> he's, he's Australian, that's probably why. <laughs> Who, who's playing Murta? I don't know. I don't think I know yet. They cast no, Chris Tucker. I am honestly going to stop blowing things <laughs> up. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't know this was happening. My second least anticipated. But my, now my least anticipated film for every year is Lethal Weapon Reboot. Uh, but Ted I think two. he's his son. I don't Ted think he's two. actually Riggs. I think he's Riggs. That's son. even worse. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ted 2. I like Ted. Some people like Ted. Average. I cannot I stand like, it. Ted is okay. I, think I fell asleep in it. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's the most kind of wandering and just. It's basically a fa- like an extended Family Guy joke, and now there's like a it. sequel yeah. to yeah. extended Family Guy. I wish they just joke. made someone um, in Family Guy is like, oh, it's just like that time I had a teddy bear that came to life, and then an hour and a half film just sprouted <laughs> off the side yeah, of the Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, with Mockingjay, just to yeah. yeah. Because um, is I this going to be the last Hunger Games film? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Except for the spin-offs <laughs> and the you prequels. Are 100% sure. the prequels. Because if this is the last President Hunger Snow, Games, like yeah, yeah. President Snow Origins, oh, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it nearly over? Harrison? It's about, is it nearly over? It's about him growing up in the capital. How you f- should feel sorry for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why he was driven through yeah, that just, just chaos, chaos. <laughs> and then yeah. Well, they have got like a backstory of how it got like really crap and is yeah, that, that <laughs> war or whatever that happened. Oh, and yeah. they're like, yeah. If, if There's definitely is, potential for a I know if this prequel. is going to be the last Hunger Games film, if this is the last, like, if this is Mockingjay Part 2, everything comes to a proper conclusion, then I will enjoy it and I am very yeah. much looking forward to it. Otherwise, if they're gonna, the end. if they're gonna end it, end it, end it, and then they like, are ending, oh, ending, ending, there's ending, a little sprout. Oh look, Katniss has a child, oh, or something stupid like that. I am have gonna you, have lose you read my the shit. Books? No. Oh, okay. Both Pixar's Inside Out and The Good Dinosaur. Whatever. Oh, there are two. I haven't Pixar's seen anything there. for The Good Dinosaur. No, the Good yeah. Dinosaur's been oh, well, completely I, I saw, rejigged. I saw all the ditched yeah. artwork, so that yeah. has no yeah. effect. But well, it looks all right. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about it though. But Inside yeah. Out, I think looks really good. Yeah. But I we watched yeah. the trailer for that just before. So we watched right? the trailer. I and don't care. I think like oh. dialogue-wise, uh, it looks great, and the stuff with the humans looks great, and I love the idea of it. I just don't think the actual characters, the the whatever they're called, emotions. They're the emotions, <laughs> right? They're the emotions. I don't think they're like they're <laughs> distinctive enough for Pixar characters because they're yeah. only very memorable characters. But it still looks really good, and I'm really looking I, forward to it. I have lost faith in them. Well, long I love quite a lot well, of the trailer. Uh, uh, Cars Two is a bad film. It's a bad film. I don't, like, there are apologists who go, "Oh, it's not that bad. It's just not as good." No, it's a bad film. It is a bad film. Cars Two. Then. I don't know, all the ones post Cars 2, I've kind of shrugged my shoulders at, and I don't like the... Monsters University was good, it just shouldn't exist, really. Yeah, shouldn't and then, exist. I, I, I don't know about you guys, and then Brave was a bit... Yeah, Brave me too, was Brave, Brave was like, it was okay. It looked and like then, one of the other animations that was done by the Disney, the Disney animation yeah. studio. And then, yeah. um, I don't it know, like, be, Finding yeah. Dory, I just... It could yeah. be good. Fuck, I'm not good. No, yeah, I'm not looking good. forward to that. It, but... The fact that it's something completely new, yeah, that's the I think that's good. That I I'm think not, that is good because mm. they're just lit. Well, pardon the pun, like finding Dory, they're literally treading water. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> and I, I know that I am the odd one out here, but I think Dory is the Jar Jar Binks annoying. Yeah, I, I really? yeah, 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 I've got a fan of Ellen. So. I, d- I, wow, okay, yeah, let's yeah. move on before I, I just get felt angry. like I just, next on this Mission Impossible Five, Chris McQuarrie. 
Tom Cruise. Uh, I can't say that. Can I not say that? I can't say that. Okay. Yeah. Actually, while we're on the subject, I'm more excited for Mission Impossible 5 than I am for Spectre. So, really? Yes. Yeah. James, like, oh, stabbed through the heart. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I was more excited for Kingdom Hearts. There's only one any spy yeah. franchise. <laughs> James looks like he's about to cry. Should we move on? Yeah. The other kind of big Oscar one that probably won't come out till next year, but still. Uh, the Revenant, Alejandro in Aoutu's next film oh, it's, it's nothing okay. right it's basically it's got leonardo dicaprio tom hardy donald gleason and will poulter as this group of hunters like i think will, will poulter but yeah. you know the rest of it was kind of a, good. a facial yeah. expression of joy <laughs> but they're basically they're a group of hunters i think it's set i think it's more like a period kind of film it's but crazy. they go out into the woods to start hunting uh leonardo dicaprio's character gets like mauled by a bear they think he's dead, so instead of burying him like they're supposed to, they steal all his stuff and just leave him there. Oh, he's not going to come back as a ghost. And he's he? no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's just because of the revenant, you know? Like, the kind of thing. I was but like, he's oh, not I don't want to be Cardiff. He's not yeah, dead, yeah. and he comes back and starts hunting them down one by one in like a revenge sort of thing. No, but apparently, awesome. because th this is the guy that made Birdman, apparently it's cool. very kind of experimental the way they've gone about it. Cool. I don't know how that could be experimental. No. no. But probably Leo will be really good in it. But because it doesn't sound like some film that just wins the Oscar. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm calling it months <laughs> in advance, a year yeah. in advance. Is the is um there's the Scorsese one this year as well, isn't there? Silence. Yeah, that's what's the, the film about? It's about uh, it's like his passion project. It's uh, it? it's set in like the 17th century. and It's about like a oh, uh, a pre it's, I can't remember exactly what part of religion. He's some form of branch of Christianity. I think. Mm. I think it's Can I just Catholic. say Catholic. Uh, yeah, Age of Innocence? Just gonna leave that. There. Uh, and he goes to like Japan where they kind of like. Yeah. It's a lot of like. That'd be it's, cool. got, it's got Liam yeah. Neeson and Andrew, Andrew Garfield. Garfield. Okay. And his his his, his, his lesser films, his more like passion driven things, are quite good. I mean, it's like you look at his documentaries and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they are really good. But I don't I don't think you need to go. Some of those Scorsese films are actually pretty good. That's Scorsese <laughs> guy. He's he's all right. I, I think he's got some good stuff. But it's more know, that you have you never to know. Like single good. out his bad stuff because there's very few bad things. There are very. Right next up, Victor Frankenstein. Which is that the one with? It's um, the one Max Landis wrote with yeah. James McAvoy as Frankenstein, and it's told that, from Igor's perspective. That just is the and coolest thing ever. I would like to see James McAvoy yeah. as, as, yeah. Frank, as Victor Frankenstein. Yeah. He does yeah. a lot of. Um, well, you said not Max the creature, Landis, but yeah. anyone. Yeah. yeah, no, exactly, yeah. exactly. And he does a lot of uh, like theatrical stuff, like with Shakespeare and stuff. So yeah. he's doing like a classic. Yeah. But the whole thing is there. told from Igor's perspective. And is he not the creature? Oh, no, Igor is the assistant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. not actually in the book. That's a, there's really? no, there is no Igor. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's oh, what I'm like. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, no, Igor's a character. I think he has an he's assistant even, at one point. In the first, point in, in like, the first assistant film, assistant. Yeah. he's not even called Igor in 1931. It's called, he's got another name. Is it Igor? I don't know where Igor comes mm. from, but yeah. somewhere along the lines, of, like in the late 30s, Igor becomes a thing. So it wasn't in the Universal films that they had. Not the first one. No. I don't know when he Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, maybe. I think more exciting, though, is the, what you just said with Max Landis is right. Yeah. He's come up with so many great ideas. He pitched on a podcast. Was this would be the thing you were talking about. Yeah. yeah. And is he, this the Death of Superman one? Or? Yeah, he's the guy that made yeah. Death of Superman. But on a podcast, he was talking about his idea for how you would reboot Peter Pan. Right. And it was incredible. Because that needed to happen. Yeah, well, well they're doing it anyway. Joe yeah. Wright's made Pan, which looks weird. <laughs> Robert Zemeckis' new film, the dramatic version of Man on Wire, which is one of my favourite documentaries ever, mm. The Walk. That, yeah, that's mm. solved the Joseph problem with it. Mm. That's the problem with it. Uh, like I'll probably end up watching it going, you know what, I could be watching the real thing. Yeah, yeah. I just don't see the point. What but, is the point? Do I? No. But Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a very good actor, and, and it's shot and like everything, IMAX 3D. Pitch Perfect 2. <laughs> <laughs> the Lobster, it's like a dystopian thing where all single people are rounded I up. I've heard of that, yeah. actually. They're all rounded up and taken to a hotel where they have to find their like future partner within 45 days or something bad happens. And it's got like Colin Farrell and a load of people in it, and it looks really bizarre. Does this come out of Valentine's Day? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go yeah. see oh, that. Oh, that's definitely the most anticipated. Oh, that's gonna be oh, like you know a cinema event. Like, one, you know, that's gonna be I think one of my, the funniest films of the year. It's the thing right. is, yeah. it's gonna have the same effect as the book though. People will go and see yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Like, because because it, did read well, the book. Because it's taboo and yeah. Yeah. curiosity. It's gonna it's gonna make a lot of money. I don't really understand the point in it when the internet exists. 
Well, it's without not being like I don't understand. You're not going to go there and it's get like, hardcore porn. I'm I know, sorry. exactly. So, what's the point? Yeah, well, well, what's the point of the book? Like, the literature equivalent of hardcore Yeah, well, what, what well, is the point? You don't need the it's movie because, equivalent it's of hardcore It's because you care about yeah. the characters. So much. Much. No, it's going to be a romance. <laughs> the, the, the film is going to be a romance. I, I really hope there's going to be really soft sex scenes. We all want. I'm excited, right? Not because of the sex or whatever. I'm excited because you said there's a helicopter chase. No, 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 that's the one with the sequel. Oh, no, I'm not excited. Maybe they'll shoehorn it into the first one. Maybe the main character will jump out of a helicopter and dive bomb for another one. Because that's what they did with the Die Hard 5 in here. Oh, no! Yeah, that's what they did with the Die Hard 5 in here. Oh, no! Yeah, that's what they did with the Die Hard 5 in here. Oh, no! No! Don't put Kingsman in here. No! Lethal Weapon. No! 